I'm Christina Brown from northerncheapskate.com and today I'm going to show you how to make your own puzzle mat. Now one of the things my family loves to do is to do puzzles and play games in the winter time. It's a great frugal activity that's fun for the whole family. So, but the problem with doing puzzles is they take up a lot of space and sometimes you may not have that table space to spare, especially if it's your dining room table. So I'm going to show you how to make a little mat that will allow you to roll up an in-progress puzzle and then unroll it and continue where you left off later. Um, I got the idea because I had priced the puzzle mats that you buy in the store and some of those run upwards of $15 and I just wasn't willing to spend that kind of money. So there's really only two things that you need to make this work. One is some sort of tube, and this is just a two foot length of um, PVC pipe that I picked up at a home improvement store. It cost me around four dollars. But if you have an empty cardboard uh, wrapping paper tube, that would work just as well. And then I went to the fabric store and I picked out about a half a yard of felt. That's it. And uh, you just cut it to size. I cut mine rather large because I wanted to make sure that we had a lot of space to do large puzzles. But if you focus on mostly smaller puzzles, you'll want to cut yours smaller. So then when you're ready to work, you get your puzzle and you build your puzzle right on the felt. One of the things I like about this DIY puzzle mat is that when you make the puzzle on the felt, the pieces don't move around a lot. And that is why this little project works so well. So let's say you it's time for dinner. You need to put away your puzzle for a while, come back to it later. You need the table space. Um, you can just uh, pick up your puzzle box here and move it out of the way. And you don't even have to pick up all of your spare puzzle pieces unless you want to. You can leave them right there. And you're going to take your tube and you're going to just slowly and evenly start rolling the fabric around the tube and rolling up the puzzle. And you'll hear the puzzle pieces make a little bit of a noise as it goes around the tube and that's okay. You just want to do it slowly and carefully trying to make it um, a nice even roll and then when you've got your puzzle rolled up you can move it. You can move it anywhere you want to move it. Um, if you're worried about it um, coming unrolled, you could throw a rubber band around it. You could um, tie a ribbon, um, whatever works for you. And then when you're ready to go back to doing your puzzle, you simply lay it back down on your table and slowly unroll your puzzle. Now, you wouldn't, and you just you might have a little bit of flattening out to do, you wouldn't want to leave your puzzle rolled up like that for a real long period of time because the puzzle pieces will curl after a while. But while you're working on the project, it works splendidly. So, this little project with the pipe and the piece of fabric, which if I shopped around, I could probably find a coupon for the fabric somewhere, this cost me about six dollars. So versus fifteen dollars for ones that you buy in a store. If you used a cardboard wrapping tube that wrapping paper tube that you already had, it would just be the cost of the felt. So um, something to think about as you're looking for ways to have frugal family fun and keep your house from being totally disorganized and messy while you're doing it. This DIY puzzle mat is a good solution. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you um, are able to have some frugal family fun with your kids. And be sure to check out my website at northerncheapskate.com.